Indian elephant utters a number of sounds. Some originate in the throat, and others are produced by blowing air through the trunk. rifle shot? A villain in a melodrama? No, it's a female puma. Pumas sometimes scream in a startling manner. Some of their musical trumpets sound like rifle shots. various notes to express different degrees and kinds of danger. One of these warnings signifies a ground predator, such as an approaching dog or man. Curiously, she becomes enraged at the sight of certain keepers, and by yowling and spitting, voices her displeasure in no uncertain terms. Billy Goat gives a rolling sex call as he approaches and comes next to a female in heat. A rival male approaches the same estrus female. The Billy Goat moans loudly and attacks his rival. No, that's the voice of an Indian elephant. The Indian elephant utters a number of sounds. Some originate in the throat and others are produced by blowing air through the trunk. Some of their musical trumpets sound like rifle shots. A rifle shot? No, that's a baby rhea. He does some snorting as well. Goats have a warning call against predators. For example, mother goats may snort on smelling or seeing a dog. The tiger's voice is not as loud as the lion's, but is extremely savage. They resemble small dark pigs with manes which can stand up and bristle when the animals are around. The keeper opens an iron door. The peccaries start munching and chewing their meal of celery, and then several engage in a short argument. It is amusing to hear them grunt as they peel and eat their bananas and oranges. However, if the source of danger is not nearby or is moderate, such as a man moving some distance away, the birds may merely give less disturbed calls. A rifle shot? No, that's the voice of an Indian elephant. The Indian elephant utters a number of sounds. Some originate in the throat and others are produced by blowing air through the trunk.
Mm. Hello? It's time hmm? for 30 Second what? Telephone Terror Theater. Who the hell is this? Today we present a 30 second tale of high terror. What? Guaranteed to spit you into the pits of horror. What is this, some kind of a joke? And now, our tale of terror. What? The award winning short story, soon to be a motion it's picture. in the morning. Specially adapted for a telephone. Huh? Stephen Queen's The Box. What? Stella? Stella? Is that you? I don't ever send it, really. Nailed it. Shut. Stella? Stella, can you hear me? Here it comes. St Stella? Stella, oh. don't open that box. It wasn't supposed to be. Oh, Stella? Packing stuff in here. Don't put your hands in there, Stella! Ow! Stella! Something grabbed my hand! Oh my god, Stella, Ow. run! Ow! Ow. Stella, run! Hey, it's, it's eating my fingers! Stella, get Ow. out of there! Oh my god, no, 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 no! Ow. No, no, that was supposed to be sent to my ex wife! No, no, I must have gotten the two boxes confused. Oh, the other box had a ceiling fan, like the kind they have in the movies, Casablanca, you know? Oh, no. You were supposed to get the ceiling fan, Stella, with my ex-wife. She was supposed to get the... It's pulling me Stella, Stella, Stella. Oh. You've just heard a telephone adaptation of Stephen Queen's The Box. Next time on 30 Second Telephone Terror Theater... We'll present Edgar Allan Poe's immortal classic, Worms in the Brain. Stella. Remember, the next time the phone rings, it may be time for another 30-second telephone terror theater. Stella! Goodbye. Hello? It's time hmm? for 30 Second what? Telephone Terror Theater. Who the hell is this? Today we present a 30 second tale of high terror. What? Guaranteed to spit you into the pits of horror. What is this, some kind of a joke? And now, our tale of terror. What? The award winning short story, soon to be a motion it's picture. It's in the morning. Specially adapted for a telephone. Huh? Stephen Queen's The Box. What? Stella? Stella? Is that you? I don't ever send it, really. Nailed it. Shut. Stella? Stella, can you hear me? Here it comes. St Stella? Stella, oh. don't open that box. It wasn't supposed to be. Stella? Packing stuff in here. Don't put your hands in there, Stella! Ow! Stella! Something grabbed my hand! Oh my god, Stella, Ow. run! Ow. Ow! Stella, run! Hey, it's, it's eating my fingers! Stella, get Ow. out of there! Oh my god, no, 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 no! Ow. No, no, that was supposed to be sent to my ex wife! No, no, I must have gotten the two boxes confused. Oh, the other box had a ceiling fan, like the kind they have in the movies, Casablanca, you know? Oh, no. You were supposed to get the ceiling fan, Stella, with my ex-wife. She was supposed to get the... It's pulling me Stella, Stella, Stella. Oh. You've just heard a telephone adaptation of Stephen Queen's The Box. Next time on 30 Second Telephone Terror Theater... We'll present Edgar Allan Poe's immortal classic, Worms in the Brain. Stella. Remember, the next time the phone rings, it may be time for another 30-second telephone terror theater. Stella! Goodbye.
explodes right then. The ravings have lost the sterile man. Will the whole atmosphere will catch fire. Light floats down the river. Motherfucking dogs are in the street. Red raft of blood. Life is about our dream. It's a love thing. Wow. That means free.
Father in Wall Street, I love thee. About the investigation, it was not that his action was illegal. Secondly, as no, as a matter of fact, but that he might cause embarrassment to our country and embarrassment to me. In every possible way to get more discrimination. You said just a few minutes ago, Steve, that you're better for your rights than either member of your administration had violated any law concerning all companies. The environmental protection agency that had done this, and they said they acted as if they were in business to put our employer out of business. If you think less steel than we were ten years ago, safely and immediately, and had many uh, on the arrangements to implement in those countries and contact numerate safely. those. And now, but I don't believe that this is a, a comedy of errors or that we have made for the first uh, many errors. A few, yes, we've made some mistakes because we were in a hurry to get all the information out.
。あら。